Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I am Harsham Ali Khan. So far, 9 problems I have completed on inventory control and stores management. So in this video, 10th, 11th and 12th, 3 more problems I am going to explain. So all the problems are based on the theory concepts which I have given the videos, theory videos on this inventory control and stores management. Hope my viewers have already watched those videos. If you have not watched, go to the playlist of my channel, select the subject operations management, select the videos of inventory control and stores management, watch all the theory videos, be perfect about the concept, then you can easily understand the problems. Now before starting the 10th problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Take the screenshot of the points, then I'll explain all the points. Come on, see the problem number 10. Microcomputer company purchases a component for which it has a steady usage of 1000 units per year. The annual consumption or annual usage 1000 units. The ordering cost is 100 rupees per order and the inventory carrying cost per year is 25%. The unit cost of the component 80 rupees. Calculate the optimal ordering quantity. Optimal ordering quantity means economic order quantity, EOK, and the total cost of inventory. This is the first part of the problem. Then after that, if the supplier agrees for a discount schedule as given below, discuss the optimum ordering policy. If there is a discount, quantity discount, lot size in units up to 149 units, 80 rupees per unit. From 150 units to 499 units, 78 rupees 500 or more units if we place the order the cost per unit is 76 rupees so these are the quantity price breaks but before that first of all it is asking you to calculate eoq and the total inventory cost remember total inventory cost means material cost plus ordering cost plus carrying cost right first of all Microcomputer company EOQ 2CO by I under root. That is the usual formula for calculating EOQ. C stands for annual usage and it is given 1000 units. O stands for ordering cost per order 100 rupees. I stands for carrying cost per unit per annum. So it is given 25%. The 25% of cost per unit. The cost per unit is given 80 rupees. So 80 rupees, 25%, 20 rupees. Now substitute all these values in the formula of EOQ. 2 into 1000 into 100 by 20 under root. So after root we are getting 100 units EOQ. So one answer we got. The economic ordering quantity is 100 units. Right? Now total cost of inventory. So first we calculate material cost. The cost of material is 1000 units we require and every unit 80 rupees is the cost. So 1000 into 80, 80,000 is the material cost. Now ordering cost. Remember all the formulas depends, uh, all this uh, calculations depends on the formula. Ordering cost is equal to number of orders in a year into cost per order. Always maintain running notes of this lecture which I am giving. Because it's very important, simply watching and listening the lecture doesn't make any difference. It will not benefit you. So always keep a notebook, pen, calculator ready. So whenever I explain the important formula, note it down, write it down. So ordering cost is equal to number of orders in a year into cost per order. So how to calculate number of orders in a year? Annual requirement divided by ordering quantity. So annual requirement divided by ordering quantity. This will give you number of orders into cost per order. Annual requirement 1000 units and ordering quantity is 100 units EOQ into the cost per order is 100 rupees. So ultimately 1000 rupees is the ordering cost. Now secondly carrying cost. The formula for carrying cost is average inventory into cost per unit 
into percentage of carrying cost. Already in the previous video, previous problems, I have given this formula many times. So you have to remember this formula. Average inventory into cost per unit into percentage of carrying cost. How to calculate average inventory? Ordering quantity divided by 2. You will get average inventory. What is the ordering quantity here? 100 units. So 100 divided by 2 into what is the cost per unit? 80 rupees into percentage of carrying cost 25%. So you will get 1000. We got material cost 80,000, ordering cost 1000, carrying cost 1000. So finally the total inventory cost, this 80,000 is the material cost, 1000 ordering cost, 1000 carrying cost, 82,000 is the total material cost at EOQ. First part completed. Now second part, there is a price break. Up to 149 units order if we place 80 rupees per unit. Then for the next price break is 78 rupees per unit if we place the order for 150 units or more up to 499. From 150 units to 499 units 78 rupees per unit. 500 units and more if we place the order 76 rupees is the cost per unit. That is the price break given. Now we need to calculate if we place the order for 100 units EOQ our total cost is 82,000. Now we calculate the next price break 78 rupees. This 78 rupees will be applied if we place the order for 150 units. And 76 rupees per unit will be applied if we place the order for 500 units. So we calculate what is the total inventory cost at 150 units and 500 units. Because the price break will start from 150 units. Next price break will start from 500 units. So we will have three total inventory costs. The first one is if we make the order in quantity for 100 units, we are getting 82,000. For if we make the ordering quantity 150 units, how much is the total inventory cost? Now we calculate. Total inventory cost at 150 units. Material cost 1000 units into 78 rupees. Because we are placing the order for 150 units. So we are getting discounted price 78 rupees. 78,000. Ordering cost. Number of orders in a year into cost per orders. Number of orders in a year. Total annual requirement divided by ordering quantity. Total annual requirement 1000 units. Ordering quantity 150 units. So 1000 divided by 150 into 100. 666.67. This is the total ordering cost. Carrying cost. Average inventory into cost per unit into percentage. So average inventory means ordering quantity divided by 2. So the ordering quantity is 150 units. So 150 divided by 2 into cost per unit 78 rupees into percentage of carrying cost is 25%. So total carrying cost comes to 1,462.5. Now total inventory cost consists of material cost 78,000. Then ordering cost 666.67 and carrying cost 1,462.5. The total inventory cost is 80,129.17. This is the total inventory cost if we make order for 150 units. Similarly, if we make the order for 500 units, the total inventory cost at 500 units, material cost 1000 units into 76. Earlier it was 78 rupees and before that it was 80 rupees. If we place 100 units ordering quantity, the total material cost 80,000. If we make the order for 150 units, 78. But if we make the order for 500 units, the material cost is 76,000. Ordering cost. Number of orders. Annual requirement divided by ordering quantity. Annual requirement 1000 units. Ordering quantity is 500 units. Into cost per order 100. So it comes to 200 rupees ordering cost. Carrying cost, average inventory. Average inventory into cost per unit into percentage. So average inventory means ordering quantity divided by 2, 500 divided by 2 into 76 rupees is the per unit cost into 25%, 4,750. So total inventory cost, material cost 76,000, ordering cost 200 and carrying cost 4,750, 80,950. 
तो वी गॉट द टोटल इन्वेंटरी कॉस्ट फॉर 100 यूनिट्स ऑर्डरिंग क्वांटिटी 150 यूनिट्स ऑर्डरिंग क्वांटिटी और 500 यूनिट्स ऑर्डरिंग क्वांटिटी नाउ व्हाट इज द टोटल इफ यू प्लेस 100 यूनिट्स एज ऑर्डरिंग क्वांटिटी द टोटल कॉस्ट इज 82000 जस्ट नाउ वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड व्हेन वी प्लेस द ऑर्डर फॉर 150 यूनिट्स एवरी टाइम देन 80129.17 and 500 units ordering quantity if we place 80,950 now compare it and see where the total inventory cost is the least it is 80,129 for how many, how many units? 150 so therefore our conclusion the company should place the order for 150 units every time since in this case the total inventory cost will be minimum that's it this is the end of problem number uh, 10th now 11th problem the annual demand for a product is 23,600 units with an average of 12 units per day so every day 12 units are consumed and the total consumption usage of the year 23,600 lead time the time between placing the order and receiving the goods lead time 10 days the ordering cost per order 20 rupees and the annual carrying cost is 25% of the annual inventory the price of the product per unit is 3 rupees. Now A, B, C, D, 4 questions are asked. The first question, what will be the EOQ? Very simple. EOQ to CO by A. Annual requirement 23,600 units. Then ordering cost per order 20 rupees. I is equal to carrying cost per unit per annum. So carrying cost is 25% of 3 rupees. Per unit is 3 rupees. So it comes to 0 0.75. So 2 into 23600 into 20 divided by 0 0.75 under root. So 1121 1.90. So it is equivalent to 1122 units. The so first question EOQ. 1122 units is the EOQ. Second question find the purchase cycle time. Purchase cycle time the formula is ordering quantity divided by usage per day. So ordering quantity, how much we are placing the order 1122 and daily usage is given in the problem 12 units. So 1122 divided by 12, 93.5 days is this is the purchase cycle time. So every 93 days we have to make the purchases. Next one, total third one, find the total inventory cost per year. So inventory cost consists of material cost, ordering cost and carry cost. Material cost 23,600 into 3 rupees per unit, 70,800. And ordering cost is equal to number of orders in a year into cost per order. That is annual requirement divided by ordering quantity into cost per order. Annual requirement 23,600. Ordering quantity 1,122 into cost per order 20 rupees. So 420.68, this is the ordering cost. Now carrying cost is equal to average inventory into cost per unit into percentage of carrying cost. So ordering quantity is 1122 divided by 2 into 3 rupees cost per unit into 25%. 420.75 this is the carrying cost. Now total inventory cost 70,800 is the material cost. 420.68 ordering cost. 420.75 carrying cost. So total inventory cost 71,641.43. That's all. Now last D point. If the safety stock of 100 units is necessary, what will be the reordering level? Here safety stock is given 100 units. Reordering level we have to find. In the previous problem also we have applied the formula for reordering level. Consumption during lead time plus safety stock. Remember the formula. Write it down. Consumption during lead time plus safety stock. This is the formula for reorder level. So consumption during lead time. How many days is the lead time given in the last sentence? 10 days. And every day, how much is the usage given in the first line of the problem? 12 units. So 12 to 10, 120 units plus safety stock, 100 units given. So 220 units, this is the reordering level. That's it. This is the end of problem number 11. Now, 12th problem. A company uses annually 50,000 units of all items, each costing 1 rupee 20 paisa. Each order costs 45 rupees, ordering cost. 
and inventory carrying cost is 15% of the annual average inventory value. First question, find the EOQ. So EOQ 2CO by I. C is equal to annual usage 50,000 units. O ordering cost per order 45 rupees. I carrying cost per unit per annum 15% of 1.20. It comes to 0 0.18. Now EOQ substitute the value 2 into 50,000 into 45 divided by 0.18 under root. So 5,000 units is the EOQ. First question complete. A bit complete. Now B bit. If the company operates 250 days a year, <coughs> one year number of working days are 250. What is the annual usage? 50,000 units. In one year, 50,000 units we require, and one year consists of 250 days. So what is the daily usage? So daily usage is equal to 50,000 units divided by 250 days. 200 units is the daily usage, right? Now. The procurement time is 10 days. Procurement time means lead time. Lead time, 10 days. So we can calculate consumption during lead time. 10 days into 200 units. 2000 units is the consumption during lead time. Safety stock is given 500 units. Find reorder level. Just in the previous problem, previous problem also we have applied. Reorder level is equal to consumption during lead time plus safety stock. So here, consumption during lead time plus safety stock. So consumption during lead time, 2000 units. Safety stock given in the problem, 500. So 2500 is the reorder level. Second, it is asking you maximum level. Maximum level is equal to reordering quantity plus safety stock. Write it down the formula. In the previous uh, problems also, we have applied this formula. So reordering level plus uh, sorry, reordering quantity plus safety stock. So reordering quantity means EOQ. So EOQ 5000 units plus safety stock 500. So 5500 is the maximum stock level. Minimum stock level is the safety stock level. Whatever safety stock we are keeping, that is a minimum. How much? 500 units. Then average inventory. Last item it is asking you to calculate average inventory. The formula for average inventory is minimum stock level plus half of reorder quantity. So minimum stock level is safety stock 500 plus half of reorder quantity. Reorder quantity is EOQ 5000. So half of 5000 2500. So 500 plus 2500 3000 units is the average inventory level. That's all. So in this video, three problems I have explained, 10th, 11th and 12th. See here, only listening the video is not enough. You have to work out these problems yourself. By watching this video, you will get the complete command, the concept you can be able to get. After getting the concept, practice yourself by independently solving the problem yourself. Then only you can get the command. Simply watching the video, listening the lecture will not be sufficient at all. So if you are satisfied, give a like to this video. Share my channel among your friends, among your groups, so that more students can watch the video and enhance the knowledge. Subscribe my channel if you have not yet subscribed. Apart from this, I have uploaded so many videos. So visit the playlist. So many subjects are there for BBA, MBA, MCOM, BCOM. Even professional uh, courses like CS, CMA, CF, uh, CS, etc. So watch the videos and uh, I mean suggest these videos to your friends. Inshallah we will continue the next problem in the next video.